Hello everybody. Today we're going to take a look on how you can add text, your name, or a signature onto your photographs using your iPhone. Right Beanie? <laughs> and I'm also going to put a link below on a video I have on YouTube and show you how you can use the brush tool and add a logo onto your photograph using Adobe Photoshop and a computer. And this is a really convenient and very accurate way of adding your logo onto that photo. And I do want to mention that if you're going to be in the business of selling portrait or wedding images, large ones, you might want to consider hand signing your images. And that's what I did when I was in business. I would use either a gel or a um, Sharpie type gold or silver pen, depending on the image, to put my name onto that portrait. So we're going to look at two different ways you can do this using, number one, the built-in app on your iPhone. And then we're also going to be looking at an app called Snapseed, which is a really nice app. And it has a little bit more variety. <laughs> what is this? Hmm? And it has a little bit more variety than your iPhone may have, well, or at least the one that I'm using. But you can have a look at that, and either one works really great. So let's take a look. Okay, so using the built-in app on my iPhone here, and I am using iPhone 11 Pro Max, we're going to choose our photo. And let's go ahead and we'll choose this one here. And we're going to start with going to Edit. And then up on top of the three icons you see, we're going to go to the center one, which is the markup tool. We're going to tap on the bottom. There's a plus sign. We're going to tap plus. Let's start by adding the text. And we'll tap that. And then you can see that the block comes up. Here we can make an adjustment to our font, the size of the text, and also the color. Let's start with the font. We're going to tap that on the left. Let's choose a font that I recently used called Zapfino. And let's take it, the font size. We're going to take the font size down to, all right, we have 43. Let's try that. And then we're going to go to color. Right now it's on black. We're going to take this over all the way to white. And if you look towards the bottom area, you can see where it says opacity. And we could change our opacity of white. We can go actually from pure white all the way over. We can make it black. We're going to go back to 100%, but let's take it down maybe just a little bit. Right now we're at 92%. Let's type into that text box, and we're going to type in the text that we want to use. So there it is. And now we can just drag this to where we want it, and I usually use the bottom right-hand side. Now I'm pretty happy with our font color and the font, and the size is okay. I probably make it a little bit smaller, but... You get the idea here. And so this is our first image where we used a built-in app using text. So let's go ahead. Let's just save this as done. Let's go back. Let's use another photo this time. So here we're going to be using a photo of our puppy, Beanie. And we're going to go to Edit. And this time, the same thing. We're going to tap that little markup tool. Go to the bottom right, plus. And this time, we're going to use Add Signature. Now, let's tap on that. And, and these are signatures that I saved. So if you want to 
make your own or a new one where it says add or remove signature. You tap on that. And then on the plus sign, you tap on that. And it's going to give you a little section on the bottom where you start signing your name. And then you can save that as well. I'm just going to go back and use one of the ones that I saved. Add signature. Okay, so this is one that I saved. And notice on the bottom you have several different thicknesses. Thin, very thin, medium, and more of a thicker side. I'm going to use the thicker side so you can see it more. And let's go ahead and I'm going to just drag this down to where I want it. However, I don't like the color. I'm going to choose a color. So on the bottom right, right now it's black. I'm going to tap that. And again, up on top, I'm going to slide this all the way over to white. And I'm going to use white. I'll keep the opacity at 100%. So there it is. We have our signature in white. And this is pretty much the size that we like. So we can go ahead and save this one also. And next, we're going to take a look at how you can use an app called Snapseed to add text to your photo using your iPhone. So let's take a look at Snapseed. So we're going to tap on Snapseed. And top left it says Open. And here we're going to open from device. And here we can choose the album that we're going to take our image from. And I'm going to choose this one. And let's use a picture of my doggy here, Beanie. So we're going to add text to Beanie. And we're going to go on the bottom, Tools. On the bottom again, Text. And then here we can choose our text. If you look on the bottom, you have all kinds of neat text that you can use. Just simple, straight line stuff, or you can make it fancy. Let's try something a little fancy this time. Okay, let's use this. Uh, double tap here to change the text. So we tapped on that, and now we're just going to type in our text. Okay. And we can, of course, move this around to where we want. And also, we could change the color of our text. Here we have on the left all the different grayscale ones that we can use. I'm going to use the off-white, a little bit of a gray scale. And then we can also change the opacity if you want to. But I'm going to keep it where it is 100%. And then, of course, we could choose another one if you want to. But... There's one of the ones that we have. Now let's go ahead and add our name to this photo here. So we're going to go back to one of these simple line type of a font. All right, let's use this one here. So we're going to tap on that. Double tap, and then we just type in what we want. And then here we can do the same thing. We can reduce this, make it smaller, drag it to where we want to. And again, we could, if you click on the uh, center bottom section we come up with the opacity and here again we can change the opacity because sometimes I like to put our name 
I don't like to have it really bold too much, so I might reduce the opacity, but just enough to see it. And also we could change the color again. And right now, now we have it set to white, more of a gray tone. So if we keep it at white and go back and we can, again, change the opacity to where we want it. So we have it here all the way at pure white. And then if we slide this to the left, we reduce the opacity again. And we'll keep it right about there. And there it is. So that looks pretty good having our our name on the uh, bottom right hand side of the photo and then we can save that into and we'll tap the uh, check and then we can export this and we're going to export this instead of changing the original I'm going to save a copy so we're going to save this as a copy of it and there we have it and that's using Snapseed which is also very simple to use so either one but if your phone has a good built-in app, you can use that one also. But uh, Snapseed gives you a little bit more variety in the kind of text that you might want to use. Thank you for watching.